Okay, today we're going to create an SVG based bar graph. First, we're going to download Vue.js into our project directory. Uh, not shown here, I already pulled down the repo and cloned it. I'll show you uh, where that URL is in just a second. But in our view bar chart, directory and vendor, assets, JavaScripts. And we're going to save it there. You'll note that we're starting from scratch today. So I'm, I did not set up, uh, I did not include view in the project and I did not set up main.js. So you get to do everything. Oh, and there's Josh talking at me. Let's, uh, it's always, it's always good to hear from Josh, but let's put it on do not disturb. Uh, uh, you know, just because. All right, so we're in the view bar chart directory, uh, bundle installed, rake db setup. And now we're going to go ahead and start up the uh, Rails server. And this is how, this is the starting state of the project. So we downloaded that, uh, that Vue.js file and you noticed it added the DS store. So we're gonna add the DS store to the gitignore. I recommend you do the same. And uh, since nothing else is really related to that, we're going to go ahead and just commit that by itself because uh, that seems to be a pretty good atomic git message. No, we're starting with the, sing the uh, present tense verb form, add. Okay, we've got view inner directory. I just noticed with, uh, 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 turbo links there, so, so we don't have to deal with that. We're going to just snip turbo links out of our JavaScript re require for right now. And, uh, and now, commit that. And now, finally, we're going to include view in our, uh, our application.js file. And there it is on the global object, capital V, V, U, E. So now we're going to go ahead and commit that. Once again, present tense verb form start, add view to project. All right, just making sure that the working directory is clean. View, once again, is on the global uh, object. Uh, we have view there. Uh, so now we're going to go create main.js. Uh, we start with the, the typical JavaScript file boilerplate. At use strict at the top of the file, as always. And as always, we're going to start with the console logging a thing to make sure that this file actually exists. And there it is, main.js in our JavaScript console. So a document on ready to make sure that this doesn't, this next function doesn't fire until uh, the page is actually loaded and all of the rest of JavaScript has a chance to get into the page. Uh, we're we're going to start our view instance there, but first let's make sure that that. Uh, that function is firing properly, and it is. So now we're going to boot up our view instance. And this is just, once again, the boilerplate that's required on every uh, app. The, uh, the specifics of this aren't super important beyond the fact that uh, we're throwing it on body. So view has the entire page to play with. And view dev tools does in see, indeed see the root. Notice I opened up a new tab. Uh, just to make sure that it uh, loaded properly. All right, we're going to start by creating the component that I wish existed, uh, create fruit sale, because we are going to uh, be creating fruit sales and then displaying uh, displaying the totals. All right, so we created that view element, and it stated that it does not know what the heck that is, view create. Uh, fruit sale. So now we need to create that uh, uh, create fruit sale uh, component. So once again, this is a boilerplate used for every single JavaScript file. Going to make sure that the JavaScript file is properly loaded. I don't feel like typing the whole thing, so we're going to just leave that at create. And create is displaying down there in the console. Create dot dot dot. Now 
we declare the component with view dot component view dash create dash fruit dash sale and just followed right now by an empty object and now that error has been cleared and we have view create fruit sale in the dom uh, but we don't have a template for it yet so let's uh let's uh hand it the template that i wish was there but is not yet that is pound create fruit sale of course that means id create fruit sale template uh, and it's complaining because it doesn't uh, doesn't know where that create fruit sale template is i can't find it so we make the view templates directory because it does not exist yet now we create the file and now we're going to go ahead and open that up with the uh, fuzzy finder create fruit sale and as always we uh, start this with a script tag, an ID, ending in dash template, and a type of text slash template. Now I misspelled fruit sale up there, and you get to watch me struggle with uh, f with figuring out why stuff isn't loading properly. So it's still not displaying. I'm a little confused, and then I realized that I did not include the partial yet annoying bit of boilerplate. So we're going to render partial, create fruit sale, and I'm forgetting the view underscore template slash, and we're going to get an error here. Now I'm a little confused to what the error is coming from. Uh, so uh, the first thing I do is I rename the file underscore create fruit sale because I did do that wrong. So that reloads and it's still throwing an error because I have another error inside of this render partial. And, I, and there's a template name, view template slash create fruit sale. And here we're back, but, but the view component is still not finding the uh, R script. And I still can't, I still haven't realized that I misspelled uh, create fruit sales in the ID in the template. Just notice how that very first line. So I'm typing in document.query selector all. Uh, I'm pasting create fruit sale template in there and notice I get nothing back. That is because, uh, I, once again, I misspelled that ID. Yep, and here I am double checking to make sure that it, the script tag is actually in the DOM. Still confused, still getting a little frustrated. Uh, and then after I finally paste the ID from there in, holy crap, I'm the fruit sale template finally appears in the page. So relieved to finally get that, uh, that component fully working. Okay, going to push it back up to GitHub. All right, we've got the fruit, the uh, create fruit sale component down there. So uh, now we actually want to create a fruit sale so we can actually graph out how many sales we have. We are going to uh, throw a form in here. So uh, opening and closing the form tag, I'm throwing the input in there. Uh, type text for the first one because each new fruit sale is going to have two, uh, two attributes. It's going to have the variety, which is a string, apples, bananas, kiwis, oranges, or lemons. And it's going to have a, uh, and it's going to have a uh, quantity as well. Yep, this is, this is live recording, everybody. All right, got an error there, looking for that. And that's because I don't actually have the new fruit sale object on my, uh, on my component yet. So I'm gonna create my data function. I'm gonna return a new fruit sale uh, inside of my data object, which is itself an empty object. And now we have one error le less, less 
um, now it's complaining because it can't find the handle new fruit sale method. So I'm uh, failing to vim well there, but uh, beyond that, creating the handle new fruit sale method. Remember, for each uh, for each ev uh, event handler you have on there, you have a corresponding method to handle the event. I finally uh, vim handle new fruit sale into the uh, into the text file. And we're logging fruit sale handled. And I'm hitting enter there. I'm not quite sure why it's not submitting. Uh, so I don't know if I had an issue with the page reloading, but regardless, I still need a an input type button here with a far too verbose label. We reload the page, create new fruit sales down there. Fruit sale handled comma yo, 14 times. All right, so we, uh, we added a new form to the DOM. I'm going to commit this because stuff's working. Um, but notice it is a whip commit. Right now I can't remember if I uh, went back and uh, amended that whip commit later. Whip stands for work in progress. Uh, I really need to stop using those types of commits because I never actually remember to amend them later. All right, you briefly, briefly, briefly saw the uh, the API path for uh, for the fruit sales. Uh, so make sure to take a closer look there, uh, and that's the fruit sales, uh, uh, the fruit stats. But here we are posting a new fruit sale itself. Uh, once again, it has two attributes, it has a variety and a quantity. I forgot my var self equals this, data uh, self new fruit sale. Uh, I've made an error there that I'll spot in just a second. It's the error I always make when I'm uh, submitting new Ajax data. I won't, uh, I won't spoil the surprise for anybody else though. Uh, I realize that my data is going to get corrupt because I don't have any model validation over validates presence of uh, the variety name. So right now I'm just going to guard against it on the front end. Um, I'd still do that here, but uh, we'll, uh, we should consider also adding some uh, HTML5 uh, required validation as well. And uh, new fruit sale. Uh, did not exist. That was an error. But self that new fruit sale does exist. Okay, now that that's in there, I'm guarding against the variety name being empty. Remember, variety is where apples, bananas, kiwis, oranges, lemons go. We're going to log the data to the console after it is created. Uh, we're not actually going to do anything else with it for right now. Just log it. Uh, and I have, there it is, my bad params, bad request. And I realized that I uh, failed to add a fruit underscore scale key outside of it. So once again, apple, quantity, and we actually have a successful post. Don't need that tab open. I refresh my fruit stats and apple quantity increases by one. All right, we are now fetching fruit stats. We are going to uh, we're going to do a dollar dot ajax get eventually here. There I go. If our self equals this, it's the first line of every function. Yet uh, occasionally I fail to type it. Uh, so this is a get method because we just want to get that collection of stats that we're going to graph later. URL, it's going to be fruit stats. And then function data, uh, we're going to console log that data. and say fruit sales have uh, gotten. But we're not actually calling uh, 
that. Yeah, so every time we post a new fruit sale to the server, we're going to collect the fruit stats back. So once again, apple, quantity one, I'm gonna create that fruit sale, and we have the uh, and we have fruit stats gotten back. Okay, so uh, we also were fetching the fruit stats after each successful fruit sale, right? Because we are uh, we're collecting and aggregating uh, the the totals for the fruit sales. So uh, now we want to do that on uh, when the uh, excuse my inability to speak when we're ready. Excuse me, when the view component loads. And there that is. Uh, because of the ready function, we now are pulling down all of those steps.